Hey guys, how's it going? Today we've got a Z20 LEH block, long block. It's the uh, Z20 LEH. See along there. And this one's had a head gasket fail. Um, it's quite it's quite common on these motors actually. It's not like a pretty because they get a lot of abuse in there performance motor etc and you can see down here someone's gone to town on this with a silicon on it it's like heavy heavy silicon all the way along the lower sump and upper sump so yeah yeah madness and i've just i've got it timed up so the timing marks are all timed up take the belt off take the cover off plugs out and then we'll have a look and see hopefully if we can see uh why the head gaskets failed if there's anything obvious might be interesting i don't know i thought i'd make a video anyway you never know what you might find the oil lines on this one actually look pretty good no leaks it's quite unusual so yeah i'll just uh put the camera down and yeah so i've got all the plugs loose so take them out Yeah, the four plugs look pretty uh, pretty normal. They're just a bit obviously wet and oily from the head gasket fail. They're the number six, the standard heat range. So carry on. Need to take the belt off. Yeah, I like to time it up before I do anything. So those are the timing marks on the VXR. It's quite a quite an easy motor to work on and and time up. The the cam shafts have got no variable valve timing or anything. It's all just fixed solid, which makes things easier. And that's the standard tensioner bolt. And they they often have give trouble because they they strip out on the Torx drive. So you can get like an upgraded one, which is just like a normal hex socket. Yeah. It's just been sitting for a while, but a surface rust from the pulleys and that. And these, the um, exhaust side is a steel tensioner or idler. And the inlet side is a plastic one, but you can get an upgrade where you run basically a steel one on each side because the plastic one actually seems to um, wear out quite quick, quicker than the other. So yeah, a common upgrade is to run the two steel wheels, two, two steel idlers on each side. So now we'll just take the cam cover off. It's got Allen screw bolts, which are aftermarket. They're not standard. I think someone's painted it white before as well. The old gasket. Yeah, there's a little bit of surface rust on the cam lobes it's been sitting for a while like I say should be able to clean them up though if they just if it wipes off hopefully yeah they're the standard cams so now we'll just take the camshafts off oh yeah these these little these little oil jets here one two they block up quite easily so if you while you're taking, if you take your cams out or your cam cover off, it's a good time to just take these out and just make sure they're clean and um, 
use a, a thin wire or something to poke them out because they, they, they're like a really tiny hole in there. And obviously that supplies a bit of oil to the inlet and then your exhaust ones down there. Just do, do them all evenly because some of the lobes are still under tension. Especially the ones that are facing down, they're still pushing on the springs. So you just want to do a quarter of a turn each, evenly. And it's even more critical on bigger ranges like a six cylinder or something like that where the camshafts are really long because you can tension them un unevenly or snap one or bend something. Just don't want that. The caps are all numbered. So there's two, three, four, five and just keep them all together into their respective um, location. Camshaft. Aside from the surface rust, it actually looks really quite nice. There's a little bit of, um, you can see a little bit of wear on this bearing there. It's pretty good. I've seen a lot worse on these. Yeah, let's give it a spray down with some WD-40. And these camshafts, I I'll check once I pull that one up, but I'm pretty sure they're the same part number, the inlet and exhaust are interchangeable. They're the same, you just have got to locate them differently on the on the um, gears here. And you can see now on the buckets here, you can see where the oil's mixed with the water. And you get that milky brown sludgy stuff. So that's the cams out. I'm just going to take the buckets out. Yeah. yeah you, I try and keep them in the same, remember what order they've been put in. It helps to put things back where they were if you're going to reuse them. But I mean, again, it's not, it's just, it's about best practice, but you don't have to. Oh, that one was a, a good one, it's actually clear. It's a good sign. The, la the last motor I done, the last Z20 I did, uh, had these were blocked and the, the exhaust camshaft had picked up. So, yeah. And they just get talked up to like seven newton meters. They only get nipped up quite quite lightly, not too tight. And with the head bolts, I just take them, start from the outside in, just crack them off. It's the opposite of when you put put torque it down. It's from the inside out normally in a crisscross. We're going to work outside in crisscross, just cracking them off. It's the old head bolts. That's them all out, and um, these. These bolts are torque to yield, which means basically they're, they're permanently stretched now, so you can't reuse them. Yeah, the easiest way to um, explain torque to yield bolts is, think of like all fasteners or bolts as a, a spring, like a coil spring. When you do something up and you clamp it, they, all bolts stretch. And then when you undo them, think of the spring just com coming back to its original shape. But on a torque to yield bolt, they're stretched into the yield point or beyond the yield point, which basically means the spring doesn't return to its original size. So that's why a torque to yield bolt shouldn't be reused. But normal bolts can be. But yeah, the, and the way to tell normally the way to tell a torque to yield bolt is it will have a torque setting plus a degree. So it might be 30 newton meters or 30 foot pound plus two sets of 90 degree turns and that's that's like a general rule 
I mean, it's not always 100%, but that's usually torque to yield bolts. And these are definitely are, so like I say, you can't use them. Can't reuse them. Oh, that's pretty, pretty loose on the dowels. And it looks like cylinder one is the one that's leaked through. Oh well. You can see the, the different colors. Cylinder two, three, and four are all dark. Cylinder one's got like coolant, almost like corrosion on it. So you can see the, that's all coolant sludge and you can see enough you can see the gasket sort of parted in here so it popped and those are the coolant passages or the, the steam pockets out of the gasket and yeah it's just leaked through into there oh well pistons actually look really good no no detonation marks and that's the multi-layer steel gasket, MLS gasket. That is, how many layers is this? One, two, that's, a f that's five layers, that one. I think it's just a standard GM gasket. So yeah. Yeah, I'm really surprised how good the pistons look. Not a single. Mint. No detonation, doesn't look like it hasn't run lean. I'll put a straight edge across the deck and see, see if it looks um, square or flat. I'll do that now. Got the trusty wood chisels. They're the best gasket. Cleaning, you can cleaning now uh, because they leave a nice finish, like a nice, they don't mess with the surface. Okay, guys, just um clean the deck surface off there and with a straight edge on going sort of through the center we've got don't know what if you can see it but I can get I get a four foul feeler blade through the middle here so this is the low spot and it seems to be quite common because of the, the few Z20s I've done this always seems to be a low spot, like 4 thou is quite a bit. So this deck would need to be machined now by about 4 thou to make sure it's completely flat. And that's pretty much the main thing I noticed. So yeah, 4 thou is 0.1 millimeter. Um, yeah, so that's the low spot. And I notice all the, the water jackets are quite corroded. I don't know if that's just happened while it's been sitting or if it, if it was like that before because the gasket, I mean the gasket may have, may just be corrosion, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, what do you reckon it is? Um, yeah, so this would need to be chemically cleaned in there because 12 thou or 0.3 of a millimeter corrosion or oxidation can reduce your heat transfer by about 40%. So it's pretty serious. Once corrosion builds up on your water jackets and you're in a performance motor, you're not gonna have the heat transfer you need to keep your engine cool. So yeah. And then once, once oil contaminates your coolant, 
oil, it's, oil reduces the heat transfer again, so it's like a snowball effect. Um, and on the on the Z20, these these big open open deck water jackets like this, they're the weak link. These ones here always like under under bigger power, these always pop. Cylinders break out. That's why you wedge your block. So these will get wedged up. But cylinder one seems to be the worst for it. There and there, and cylinder four on that one. But other than that, I'm not too sure what what I might do with this block. But yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm just happy that the pistons are really good shape. No detonation. Just that one cylinder. Even the head looks... The valves will look good on the head. I haven't actually um, cleaned, the, cleaned the head yet and put the straight edge on the head to check that for a warping and that, but... Let me know what you reckon. Yep. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.